I, I think I'm recording now. Hello, uh, I'm Alexander and welcome to the Raise Development Log. This is going to be a weekly series of videos where I show you for every week what I've been doing on my game Raise. Uh, so I'm a hobby developer myself and this is going to be the first big project I'm working on, which is gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna release it on Steam eventually, is the plan. So, without further ado, let me show you some of the art I made. Yeah, baby! It's beautiful, isn't it? So, I've actually never done pixel art before, uh, and I cobbled this together in about two hours from a tutorial. Uh, but I have done some some drawing before, so I know about composition and shading and all that. So, what I, the style I'm going for with Race is, it's going to be a 2D side-scroller game, and I want it to be uh, a sort of futuristic cyberpunk city environment inspired by movies such as Blade Runner and Akira. And, and this is sort of the color palette I'm going for, with futuristic greens in the foreground, and the background looks like Looks like a sky with blinds, like very 80s, very 80s horror science fiction stuff. So as for the character design, I made two main characters so far, which you can, you should, you're supposed to be able to choose which one you can play as, but you, or if I want to implement multiplayer later. The, the main character is Raze. He's a really badass edgelord who is also really, really, really angry for some reason. And the second character is Hex, who is an equally badass female character who is also really, really, really angry for some reason. Why are they angry? I do not know yet. Uh, all I know is that I want anger to be and aggression to be a very integral part of the story, a sort of driving plot element. Uh, the main weapons I'm planning is to have a chain whip, similar to the whip in Castlevania, and the secondary weapon is going to be a handgun, which consumes ammunition and you're supposed to be able to find upgrades for it. And if I have time I'd like to implement combos and a scoring system and a shop system where you can buy upgrades and a currency. So that's most of what I'm planning on implementing on the gameplay side. Finally I've done a sprite sheet or a tile map for the first level which is like a mock-up of the assets that I want to, want to get into the game. Uh, so you can see this is about the scale of the characters, and then I'm planning on having uh, a 2D isometric perspective. Uh, it's gonna be sort of a it's gonna be sort of a brawler game. So you go horizontally along the street, and then there will be platforms like this container and this like construction scaffolding that you can jump on. Jump on, and there's some pretty neat enemies too. I, I like this guy a lot. He was like the first thing I drew when I learned how to draw pixel art, so I drew a little gonk droid with teeth. So I call him Chewy the Chewbot. He looks he looks really stupid but also really cute and I love him. Uh, so there's for the mock-up art. I'm gonna be getting this into Unity, hopefully by next week or the week after that, and actually start designing the first level. So that's gonna be really fun. It's a part that I'm really looking forward to. So I'm, I'm, I've been, the first two weeks I've been just drawing sprite art, so I'm getting exhausted with that. It's gonna be fun to actually do some levels. Uh, so that's it for this, that's all I've done for this week. So as for the format of this uh, series, I'm gonna now show you three things that I've learned this week that have been really valuable to me. So the first thing is I've actually learned to set up, I was gonna say I've set up GIMP for drawing pixel art, and I hadn't actually set it up properly. But so here I have my four color Game Boy uh, inspired palette, which I use to draw everything, and then I change the color afterwards. And I have my color picker right below in case I want to change the color of the palette. Uh, and additional palettes here that I can choose from. Also layers here to the right, and I've only recently discovered that you can customize the, the layout of GIMP. Uh, so if you go here, you can lock the tabs so you can't move them around, but if I if I do unlock it, I can like do this. Uh, and I can do this, and I can put it anywhere I want to, so I'm just gonna put it back where it was for now. Don't, don't, don't ruin anything. There. 
the second thing I've learned to do is I'm gonna actually as, as this project goes along I'm gonna log the amount of hours I spend on each task that I'm doing so as of the two as of two weeks now I've been doing exclusively sprite art for about 11 or 12 hours and so as the project goes on I'm gonna I'm gonna log all the time I spend into level design and game design and UI and gameplay programming social networking project management and all that so I I hope that I'm actually gonna be able to get an accurate picture of how how fast I work uh, and how much each of these tasks takes so that for the next project I'm gonna be more prepared and actually have a better time prediction. So as for the final thing, I couldn't actually, I couldn't actually think of a third thing to show you. So I'm just going to show you this. Uh, I've discovered in the area I live, there are these captain crackers, which are like, they're, they're crackers with just 3% sugar in them. And they're really good because I've been looking for a replacement to my Pringles craving. So so these like sugar-free oats are really, or oat crackers are really helping me out now. Uh, and I recommend them. It tastes like eating hard, crusty bread. But you can still get the satisfaction of chewing something hard. And that's, it goes along, it goes surprisingly a long way. So I really recommend them if, you, if you're looking to tame your sugar cravings. Uh, so that's it for this week. Uh, next week I'll be hopefully getting started on a game design document and starting to animate some of these sprites, like the main character sprites, to walk and do an idle stance and, and do some fighting moves and stuff, which is going to be really cool. So make sure to check back next week. And with that said, have a good one.